Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we come back to a patch. Literally, the day after I recorded the last two episodes. This is what I've been waiting for. I can't wait any longer. I record the episodes, and they release the patch. Oh well, what are you going to do? Here it is, though. Uh, we're looking at an update, Alpha 2, version 0.62 where they've done a penetration rebalance, not so high drop off of penetration strength, that's good. Better shell shatter threshold for not so frequent partial pens of HE. I think that's good if I'm deciphering that grammar correctly. Um, meaning HE is more likely to shatter instead of doing a partial penetration, which also tells us what the partial penetration the developers are defining as. Uh, I know there's been some discussion that a partial penetration is some amount of the shell makes it through the armor, which didn't quite seem right to me, and it looks like the devs are using the other definition, which is while the shell may not pass through in part or whole, um, there is like spalling, or some kind of damage on the interior because of the the shell but even that's we can't be confident that's what the definition is either it could be something in between or something I haven't really thought of uh, with the new settings however angling will be even more important in order to inflict critical hits to heavily armored ships Assuming that the angling will cause the shell to shatter if it's too high an angle. That's my assumption, based on what I know about real armoring. Um, how armor works in real life for naval caliber weapons, which are much bigger than those you would see with a tank. HG penetration strength reduced slightly for compensation, making HE shells not so powerful compared to armor piercing as before. Okay. Lidite shell damage increased slightly to continue having its historical impact. Alright. AI chooses shell ammunition more efficiently. I'll be the judge of that, for me at least. Could switch to HE as a human player would do. Okay, that's good. Main guns, secondary gun fire rate rebalance, plus 15% for big guns, minus 10% for small guns. Okay, that's that's conflicting. Main guns. Like, like, main guns are different for each ship, so is it main guns are getting a 15% boost, or just guns of 9 inches or higher, what you would see on a Dreadnought? I, that's a little unclear. We'll find out. Main gun ammo increased to compensate for the new reload balance. Makes me think it's inch-wise. Ammo numbers should be, should be also close to historical data. Increase slightly the impact of flooding, making armor piercing and torpedoes potentially more Hazardous, as their hits can cause flooding with more probability. If all they're doing is increasing the probability of a flooding hit, that's a band-aid in my personal opinion, and it's not fixing the issue with damage control seeming to be way too effective. Um, ideally, I would like to see this be... Okay, well not that likely for flooding to occur but when it does it's a serious casualty modeled by hey every x amount of time ticks the damage control party will roll a die if you will or whatever mechanic they're using and it has a chance of getting better um or not and if it doesn't well it, the flooding continues to progress but that's, that's my opinion, for what that's worth. Targeting became slightly sharper, fixes issues of very low accuracy at close range due to very rapid change of bearing, which makes sense. Cost of rebalance of the Yamato type hull so that the mission modern battleship is less possible to build many weaker battleships. It is still possible to do so, but they should be so weak that they will be worthless especially with the new penetration balances. Okay. Increase the accuracy of electric torpedoes further, but now they cost 12.5% more. 
I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not sure the historical precedent for having more accurate electric torpedoes, but that's neither here nor there then. Reload mechanism now affects range. Why? Turret traverse speed and aiming instead of accuracy. Turret traverse speed, I can see the reload mechanism having to affect the traverse speed and aiming. The range, I don't necessarily understand unless something about the reloading mechanism affects the amount of powder you can use. Like, like it doesn't really, like, seems like you would be able to compensate for that. Or it limits the amount of powder you can use. It's better than it having an accuracy malice. Which, in the video just before this, I was avoiding the reload mechanism specifically because of that. Together with some weight cost rebalances, it has added an extra reloading tech component with no range drawbacks, but is much more expensive. Again, I'm not sure what the historical precedent for that would be. But I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that that makes sense. Improved auto designer to build ships favoring stronger main armament and be more competitive against the player. That, that's a good thing. I would rather the missions be harder. Um, yes, I've had challenges on the uh, fight a fleet or whatever the mission was called. Um, that was partly due to my own obstinate attitude and stubbornness and not wanting to go to the meta and start using HE to just spam that and flame out a ship. I, there is some precedent for starting fires that way, but it, I don't think it was quite that prevalent. It still feels overpowered to me, but we'll see how, it, how it's changed. But having the actual ships be designed better, I'm all for that. Fixed an issue with ship stats that affected torpedo detection range for towers, causing them to be too large and battleships to respond too early without the need of escort ships. I like this. Means electric is not the only option. Uh, although that will be used against us. That's, that's fine. Fixed issue that caused surface visibility to not be at realistic levels according to ship size. Now big ships should be visible at reasonable distances. That means we can spot them at longer ranges. That makes more sense and makes long range battles more viable. Late missions have been rebalanced in initial distance and duration to compensate for the new input. That sounds like it's a good thing. Fixed stats issues not updating properly several components in late text, for example, citadel bonuses on resistance. Okay. I'm not sure if that's just UI or under the hood actually changes things. First mission has less duration to not be not a pushover. It's the first mission. It's supposed to teach you how to use the game. Wait, it's supposed to be a pushover. Increase one kilometer of average initial distance of opponent cruiser, second mission, to reduce chance of an early lucky shot that can destroy the cruiser too soon. Okay. Destroy full fleet mission is rebalanced and moved higher in the mission list to reflect better its difficulty. I think everyone kind of knows how I feel about that, but it really wasn't that hard once I used kind of what the community has been discussing as the way to defeat that mission. Like, it has an easy out. I just didn't want to take it. Transports damage control systems not as efficient as before, which makes sense because there's not as many people on a transport. So they should become destroyed if they're having extended fires and flooding. Mission Undefending Convoy became rebalanced to have some form of challenge. I'm not fine with that. You're introducing the transports in that mission, but it shouldn't be a complete pushover. You should be used to the game by then. New mission, defeat the semi-dreadnought, designed and built ships that can defeat a semi-dreadnought and two escorting light crew. Cool. New mission, numbers don't matter. Your main adversary is a huge battleship with technologies of the 1940s. You will be outgunned, outperformed in every way, but you have the numbers. Should be interesting. 
Mission pre-dreadnought conflict was rebalanced to work with less ships. We will add more ships or offer a similar mission later when the game's FPS performance improves further, which I mentioned in the last episode. The mission Power of Dreadnoughts provides less money to player. It could become too advantageous. Okay. I'm not going to argue. I, I don't think I had issues with that one. Improvement on how AI decides to move to optimal engage distance. The AI should not steer so sharply and mix its formation lines. The improvement will also affect player fleet when setting up screen formation. Excellent. Waves now properly follow the wind direction. Okay, that's a neat touch. And several fixes improvements on their mechanics, affecting positively the game performance. Thank you. Ship flag is now more accurately switching according to wind direction and ship speed. Again, nice touch. Many performance optimizations and graphical fixes. Thank you. I know people have criticized uh, or pointed out in a couple of my videos, does the game really run that choppily or that low frame? Depends on how long I've been playing and how much is involved on the screen. And other people noted, well, you should turn it down. Your graphics card can't handle it. My graphics card is just fine, thank you. Um, the game is unoptimized. It's an early alpha. Not that I shouldn't turn it down for viewer pleasure. I, I keep it high because my impression is that you all would rather see more beautiful graphics to an extent and whether that extent has been reached and I should get rid of maybe the volumetric smoke then so be it but we'll see how it performs with this fixed issue with launcher which made it to not close properly when exit the game fixed an error that caused guns to stuck stick fixed error crashes related with numerical key commands unstable bug report button I may know to rotate wrong way more performance due to sound optimizations. Faster armor increment by using the buttons. Armor can be adjusted by text. Oh, thank you. Your copyright claim. Please dispute the claim and it will be resolved. With, which it has. I can actually use music again. I haven't done that recent, recently. Yeah, and I turn off the music because I don't want to dispute every single video. All right, back into the naval. Yes, there's the inserted new uh, missions. The ones that have been rebalanced still stay checked off. They didn't uncheck them because they changed them. Weren't doing search and destroy. I honestly don't. This this is the mission that we were on last episode. Yes, I recognize this one. May have been rebalanced. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to remember what I did last time. I think we did mixed technology. I, I liked what it had available. You know what? I'm going to check. And I'll get right back to you. All right. Went and reviewed the video to see what I did. been doing a lot lately and uh, we were using mixed technologies tempted to do that again anyway just because it gives us some gun technology and that's that's very useful and I I want to have turbines available they save so much weight so much weight All right, here we are with our pre-dreadnought. I'm going to put the front tower up. We need to have a secondary tower. We'll use a fancy one. Keep the two small funnels. Uh, no need. Can't use a bar bed. Do 
we have that available last time? I don't think we did. That and I don't think any of them were Mark II last time. Hmm. The values do look a little higher than I remember. Well, let's get one up forward, one back aft. Definitely a different looking turret. I'm almost certain we had 12 inch available last time. Not 13. Not casemates, casemates. Put the pair of 6 inch up forward. I don't think they're that heavy. I don't think we can do 5, we can do 4s. I'm not sure the threes are worth it, but they cost so little. Leave the torpedoes out of it for now, although I'm kind of tempted. 15 inch, never mind. Maximum bulkheads, minimum range. Did, did I not check mixed? That's why we have bigger guns. We were using the engine technology last time. Presumably. Unless they changed how the tech works for this mission. I'll, I'll leave it steam and take the... Oh, crop 1. And then crop 3. Save some money. The armor will be heavier. And we'll only lose 20% strength. Bigger now, too. Still use the heavy shells. Uh, Alistite. That took away a lot of our good technology. We need. I think the gun range will help our accuracy. I don't know if they prop. I haven't really done enough to have confidence in saying that, though. I'm going to stay with the ballistite. Ballistite. Gun aiming speed, turret traverse speed, gun reload time. And a little bit of weight. Aiming and traverse speeds. Suitable for short range combat. Problem is, is, if it's traversing slowly, can you keep up with the bearing change? I don't know. I kind of want to try it now that it doesn't instant a mouse to your aiming. Drop the speed, increase the tonnage. And it's so expensive now. What are we looking at? It's like having 50% more guns. Roughly. I'm using rough numbers. Two barrels is 50% better than one barrel, which is reflected in the tonnage. Thinking of backing out and going and doing the other... the um, middle plan. Let's see, let's reduce things down. Do 1.0. 
2.0. Oh man, that's so nice being able to do that. 10 inches for the belt. Good. Belt extended to 6. And 10. 5. 5 for the secondaries. Not getting down. Not unless I, I want this to be ridiculously slow. So I'm willing to sacrifice some tonnage and have a single barrel. Even then, at this point, is it better to just move back down to 12 inch? Still have plenty of penetration. They were sufficient last time. 10 inch Mark IIs, those are a bit underpowered, and if we're going to go down that far, like I'm tempted to go down to the armored cruiser and just plus up the armor to something that's satisfying for me. You know what? I think that'll be interesting. I know we've, we've partially committed. And we built the... Um, let me take a look at the other one. Built that battleship, but it will just wasn't working out. 175 tons, 74,000. All right, let's do that. It's a minimum sized one. Wee little guy. Put as many funnels as we want. Central line guns. There is more penetration with the Mark. 111 inch, but I'm going to stay with the 10 inch. Casemates, I think, will. So small. This is killing me. I'm not putting 2 inches in those windows. So many of them, though. And 3 tons each. You win this round. Ugh, torpedoes are so terrible at this stage as well. Juice. Get the better armor. Better bulkheads. Alright, that leaves us a little to work with. A bit of wiggle room. Lot of armor to go though. Let's do 10 inch both 5 1 0 10 inch 10 inch 1.5 and 2 inch. Our secondaries will get knocked out easily and I don't really care. One more two inch. Oh, so many twos. Um, that'll make it heavier, but a lot cheaper. Much heavier. Looking at the raw numbers of just weight and cost, the semi oil seems to be the best option. Fuel stowage goes down a lot. Better for floatability. I haven't even added the funnels yet. Two funnels, that's all we need. I may throw a third on there just because. But we're kind of limited on space right now. I would like to have two ships. Lower this down to six. 
Armor's not really costing. Well, it's costing a little bit. Off the reload bonus. Go with standard bulkheads. Count on the armor to do all the fighting for us. Aesthetically, I'm just going to put them dead center. Space them out. Cost wise, can we save a little weight? Oh, yeah, but that costs a lot. Got no options on that end. Use more expensive options. I don't want to reduce the A10. It's too slow. I know these are old ships, but this is killing me. That fire extinguishing, I think, is going to be important. We go down to standard. They even make a big difference. It seems so. I don't want to reduce the bulkheads too much. Specialist is not really giving us a lot. At least gets us up to 19 knots. Only two cruisers. I'm not sure this is the option either. I'm not going to exit and go design another ship. I. I want to go back to the battleship. I want to go back to the uh, the survivability and maneuverability option for tech. But I don't want to spend an entire episode just designing ships and discussing it. Oh man, that's that's a lot smoother. Get the uh, chart open. I know some of you really want to see that. I'm kind of familiar with a lot of the stats that are involved, such as the, the grade of gun, the technologies, all that stuff. How are we? Oh, relatively no. Balanced by modifiers. I don't think this is the same mission. This is a different one. That may be why the tech's so different from what we're used to. They did say they reduced the size of this, so this might actually be the same mission. I have my video up on the other screen. Check. I'm on the slideshow. Dreadnought Conflict, it's the same name. They've just really reduced the size of the mission. Honestly, I don't think this is going to go well for us. Oops. Button. They removed the ability to do higher... Rates of speed? Oh, and they won't allow times five in combat anymore. Very interesting. I miss not being able to fast forward, but I understand some of the calculations 
They may have been shortcutting it. And it's not too favorable. And yes, I'm going to continue at full speed at 19 knots. Taking the... or sacrificing the bonus, the 20% bonus we would get by using that notch. At cruise speed. Oh, which they now have a rollover for. Which is nice. So our cruiser gets in our way. Depending on how well the armor stands up, I may ignore the large ships until we've taken out the light ships. You kind of saw me doing that in the previous attempt. There's our first hit. Oh, I have a little chart up here now. Really, dude, knock it off. Ramping my style. Cruiser, we didn't. Oh wow, they rolled our heavy cruiser in with the two that we designed. Let's shift over. That is not a destroyer. Whoever suggested that. Not smart. Ah, I should be fair. It's this day and age. It, it was Did that range for three kilometers. It can be difficult to tell what a ship is at 3 o'clock. At this point, I will drop down in speed. Setting at 3.4%. There we go. Significant flooding. Ah, they reduced the frame rate of the chart up here. That's part of the performance in increase. And they forced it down. You can't do times two anymore. I'm against that. Times two, at the very least, seem to be appropriate. For me, at least. Okay, there's another hit. It's just a running total. Like how many were f no? I don't know what to make of that. Oh, we have a torpedo incoming. We're gonna eat that one. Might not actually. A thrutter and then that. There we go. Destroyed a main gun. And that really matters for the cruiser. Is our third cruiser. An inch, bunch of five inch, or no, a few five inch up on the towers, which I really didn't add any secondary guns. Four inch. Hmm. There we go, damage to a main gun. Take the ship out. There 
There we go. More flooding up forward. I don't think that'll be quite enough. We're about to lose this torpedo boat. Aggressive flooding. You launched your second torpedo yet? No. How is the disposition of the rest of the fleet? Fine, their battleship has no torpedoes. That's good. Their heavy cruiser has no torpedo. Their light cruiser is almost done. I really want to shift targets. 10% chance to hit at this range. Once they've zeroed in. There we go, we destroyed a torpedo launcher. And that looks to be the only one they had on board. What destroyed it? Oh, I can't. Can't really check that. Well, they're pretty much combat ineffective now. Hi right there. They're two inches, inches. Do a bunch of. I don't think they were using HE. They should be for this. Light cruiser took some pretty significant damage, 12 inch from one of the battleships. This is why I don't really like the 2 inch. Do nothing. Oh, about to take the. Yeah. Looked away for a little too long. I want to keep it closer to the action, but having to swivel around constantly when it's a knife fight like this. I've already lost speed. Right. You're not gonna keep me. Uh, let's go ahead and detach you. Please take a hard turn at all speed. And shift targets. You guys will continue on. Alright, come back up to speed. And. Fifteen percent chance to hit with the main battery. Still haven't killed this one. Oh, mid deck penetration. I evaluate that our armor is not enough yet. This guy ever sink. That guy running away. Is that a 10 inch hit? There was. Did plenty of damage. Not that that seems to have mattered.
guys are killing me. They've completely decimated that little ship. And it seems to have accomplished nothing. I think the fire will take them out now. Uh, question is, which ship to go after? 11 inch, 12 inch, 10 inch armor, 12 inch armor. Go for the Fernando. And I think that torpedo boat is also finished send our ship to go chase the Favorita. The other torpedo boat. There it is. We only have one torpedo boat. We don't have our light cruiser anymore. They destroyed our, our forward gun. Ten inch gun. We can do fourteen inches of penetration, twelve at twenty five hundred meters. Well, within that, do I switch to AP and try out the new AP? We'll go ahead and do that. Wait, what uh, value? Plus 35%, so that's 13. We're within the penetration, but we're very close to the limit on that one. Questionable whether that will be effective. Which are... Oh wow, they don't have engine damage anymore. Can't do full speed, can they? Get them as fast as they can go. Still heading after that light cruiser. shooting at this one. I would like that one to shoot the heavy cruiser. Heck, I might as well take independent command of everyone. Dong will continue. The har can continue. Dong. And shift. Yeah, 12 inch mid belt partial penetration. That's uh, very good for our armor. bit of flooding on the Guangdong. You to the Prisma. Shift to HE. 
probably start shooting at Favorita after she gets out of the immediate range. I don't see where that last torpedo boat of theirs went. May have just run off into the distance. Trading hit with four inch. Burn belt extended. That our extra, that's not the one we made. That is correct. That's the extra, so we didn't get to make that one. He has a bit less armor. Some eight percent chance of hitting that range. Leave them to take out the light cruiser. Got eight inches of armor plus forty-five. It's twelve raw. That makes the difference. Between, this is actually the better protected ship. I had not noticed the uh, armor modifier of zero percent on that. out everything in the front. Or to case me. I'm concerned about that. Oh, it was one of our four inchers. That's unfortunate. Those ones were actually useful. Penetration, very little damage. What was that? The deck penetration with the 10 inch. A good hit. So rudder midships. Auto. Eh, let's go with AG. Let an inch. Oh, wait. And stay poking at this one. Almost got the heavy cruiser down. Am 
might be the final cry for that heavy cruiser, despite the battleship blocking all possible shots. There we go. Do the HE. I don't want to. I'll keep wanting to see if I can get a shot through the armor, but I don't think it's worth it. Stick with the HE. See if we can finish this mission today. Even though I'm not too pleased with the design, it seems to be effective enough. There we go. We can bring our cruiser back. Uh, I don't want to turn that much. Make the guns not fire. Engine damage and rudder damage. What was the penetration? I guess their extended belt is not too good. Only five percent of enemies. Let's see, there were two battleships. Two heavy cruisers, light cruiser, three torpedo boats. I think if we take one of these battleships out, that'll be good. That'll put an end to this mission. I'm gonna focus on the one that we've gotten engine damage on. Where are we shooting at that one? Watch a little bit of the action since we're going ridiculously slow now. Kind of disappointed in that design choice, even though I understand it. Kind of hope they give us um, faster speeds while in combat back at some point. Because my. I. Honestly, I'm not too interested in fighting out naval actions in real time. Not why I play games like this. Especially when if this is the thing for the campaign, then what we're gonna see is a bunch of battles I don't care about that we have to suffer through. Much like, um, it's one of the same criticisms I have for Rule the Waves. Another game, if you're not familiar with it, that covers a similar time period, but in a top-down, sprite-based sort of way. And the games are completely different from each other. It's a, it's a much different playing field, but it's a similar frustration, where you have to fight 
certain battles. And even if you accelerate it, it's just... It's suffering to deal with all these battles you don't care about. This one I have a vested interest in. And we've got one of the funnels that'll slow her down further. somewhere along the way. Burning pretty good now. Additional engine damage. Good news, she'll be even easier to hit. Some damage to the funnels with the two inch. Hit on one of our um, funnels. Starting a fire. Meanwhile, we return the favor to poor old Concepcion over here. Risima Concepcion. Another 10 inch salvo. Wrecked hit, penetration, and two partials. High explosive feels even more powerful than it did before. Oh, fire and flooding in the bow. The hard not doing well anymore. Instability is pretty bad. Our hit rate is definitely taking a hit. Fire and flooding. And fire on the main gun. Flooding is in the stern room, so she'll go down further by the stern. Now I see the decks are kind of washed back here, I assume, because of this flooding right here. We just made that a little bit worse. Partial. All 
same shot. Two partials. All right. Not too hard. Let's get harder over. 11 degrees of rudder should bring us around reasonably well. I do love having a very visual game set in this time period. That part is nice. I don't like being forced to have you to experience it at real life speeds, but it is pleasing to watch shells come in and bounce and tumble off into the water. Alright, we should be about to fire. That was a terrible shot. We are less than a kilometer from the target. We'll bring them down to 16 knots. this into a regular circle. Hopefully the rear turret will still be able to fire here shortly. There we go. Got to sink the last one. That one's certainly not going full speed. Torpedo boat see any smoke. No. Come on back. Not that you're ever going to get into this combat again. This is where I would love to have some acceleration, because we're in a stern chase now. Alright, we'll get the Heilongjiang and see if we can't get her to slow down the target while the Kahar slowly plods along I may accelerate this post-production for y'all Hey, they got a hit. Maybe I won't. Take a look at the deck of the Fernando. Looking at 8% hit ratio, 12% as the expected. Might be a hit. Hey, there we go. That's a fair amount of fire. Looks like for this mission in its current iteration, you need to sink all but one of the ships. Actually, we might not be able to lose our torpedo boat. Might want to just keep that out of the fight. She's got a long ways to go before she gets here. I'm gonna collapse this again. Just so I can get a little bit more of an angle. Watch shells come in. Eh, yeah, maybe not. I think that's miss. kilometers 
That's a mess. Alon is definitely not doing so well. Despite being closer and more accurate. Most of the fire has gone out on the Fernando. Well, that's a clear miss. What were they shooting at? Eh, it might have been the angle I'm looking at this fight. Yeah, that's a miss. Bring our torpedo a boat closer if we need to try to put a torpedo into the side of the Fernando. There we go, that might be a hit. Single hit. Nothing too significant, but it did start a fire. Hit seems to have caused fire. Four inch have actually caused damage. Good penetration. Back aft, took out a casemate. Doesn't really matter. Still going 13 plus knots. So. No, the damage may be slowing her down slightly. Yep, just went down to 13.6. boats four kilometers away. Shouldn't be necessary. Fernando will get burned down and sink for too long. There we go. Nope. So short. Rats goes right on target too. That's pretty wide. And too far. And close enough, they have a 15% hit ratio. We've got a 27. They actually want to slow down. Well, I think we're already going slow enough. We're not going to get any bonus. Home cruise speed is already below what it needs to be. Hey, okay, there we go. 10 inch hit on the stern, hit the rudder, all some flooding. Gonna slow her down further, which is a good thing.
are we? 1.6 kilometers. We will continue to close. We'll expose the rear turret by a natural progression. It's also a mess. Oh, a hit from our distant cruiser. That's a hit. And gun, fire. Wow, one of the two inches actually penetrated. Oh, that bounced. Bounced their 12 inch. Fantail might actually achieve something. Another fire, two fires. Both 10 inch hit forward and aft, and the fire is spreading rapidly. I think the statistic firefighters use is a fire doubles in size and strength every 90 seconds as long as it has fuel and oxygen to burn. That was a little bit rapid of a spread to me, but yeah. the compartmentalization might not have been so good. There's another hit. No fire from that one, though. And they are extinguishing the fire now. Where is Kahar? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Four kilometers. Bonk. Hit with both. Nice. Zoom out just a little bit. Oh yeah, direct hit. That does not feel pleasant. Switch to ours, actually. I maneuver a little bit better. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, that is glorious all forehead. He's done. You heard it here first. fire with a two inch. That's rare. Okay, one out of four. I think that'll ensure her death. And any moment now. There we go. Okay, that completes that mission. That was sufficiently painful to go through at normal speed. Um, enough so that I might not record another episode until they give that back, because these missions take way too long to be recording the entire time. I can accelerate it for you, but I am pretty limited on how much recording time, good recording time I have each week, and I'm not sure I can keep episodes of this coming. Um, that is way too slow, it takes way too long for me to record, edit, render, upload, and get everything up. That's, that's taking a long time. Um, I'll see what I can do. I don't want to stop entirely, but I, I might have to cut back quite significantly until we get time acceleration again. It is what it is. I, I will do what I can. I'm a little bit disappointed on that. I'm, I'm happy our cruisers did well. As for, um, what was it, pre-dreadnought conflict, that, that worked out well. I was not expecting that to work that well. I'm happy the armor lasted. We did see some penetrations, but a lot of it bounced or shattered. It worked out well. Uh, I hope you enjoy what I end up producing after I get done chopping this up and accelerating certain portions, so that's bite size. Um, and I, I, I hope you'll continue watching. Thank you for staying till the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Take care.